The future of a piece of Charlotte's skyline is in limbo tonight. The one Wells Fargo Center on South College Street has been the home of the international banks and law firms. Now it's on the verge of foreclosure. The building, once occupied by Wachovia Bank, became Wells Fargo's East Coast headquarters back in 2010. The bank's looming departure this year is expected to leave the building more than half empty. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us live in Charlotte. And Taylor, following the pandemic, office space in Charlotte really has been difficult for companies to fill. Yeah, absolutely, Morgan. Charlotte's office vacancy rate is sitting around 20%. That's nearly double of what it was a decade ago. Just beneath ground level on South Church Street, DeMichael Golston has been cutting hair for 20 years. So different, you know. Three years ago, it was common for 30 customers to walk through his door daily. Today, it's six. You know, I mean, the shop used to stay full, you know, with um, workers and um and customers, but right now it's just me and the owner here, and I'm usually the only one here. His neighbors, a flower shop and convenience store, have also experienced a dramatic decline in customers who used to fill office buildings like the One Wells Fargo Center directly across the street. This um, asset is a, I don't know, a poster child for the issue post pandemic and nobody wants to go to the office. It's an iconic building built in 1988 that come the end of the year is expected to be nearly 70% vacant. According to filings on CoStar, the building went into receivership earlier this month after its owner, Vision Properties, missed loan payments. With a debt of $157 million, it's on the verge of foreclosure. 2016, they purchased it at 98% occupancy. And so now they're in a situation where it's not as valuable as it was. Right now, the building's largest tenant is the bank that shares its name. Once Wells Fargo moves out, its first, second, and fourth largest tenants have leases that expire within the next five years. I, I anticipate that ultimately, um, you know, uh, uh, this property will be a booming property at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I think uh, the owners and the city will feel a little bit of pain. With a shop full of empty chairs, DeMichael says they're barely holding on. I don't think so. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate to laugh about it, but no, I don't, I don't think we're going to last. Now, I did reach out to Vision Properties for a comment on the future of the One Wells Fargo Center. I did not hear back. Reporting live in Charlotte, Taylor Young, Queen City News.